even over the last six, seven years, that's changed from under 10% to more than 25%. So when you think of it, that's, that's a 150% increase in a fairly uh, short span of time. And, you know, that's been a wonderful um, shift for our school and a wonderful shift for our community, and it's also brought with it the challenges. There are more differences among the groups that are coming in than there are similarities. So, yes, we have kids who have come from refugee camps. We have kids who, um, you know, many of our language minority students were born at Maine Medical Center uh, because their parents came, uh, you know, in the 80s. And so they've grown up here, but they've grown up in a, in a home that speaks mostly Khmer. So it's just this incredible range of experience. And there's as much diversity within that group as there is in, in, you know, in the larger population. So we can't really generalize to any one particular group. The only generalization I think we can make are the kids who experience the most difficulty are kids who come without literacy in their home language.